Hi guys, Echo here from Cheeky Beans to talk to you today about fibers. I get fiber questions all the time and I have a write-up in our chatter page, but it's a little outdated and I've brought in so many new fibers since then. So let's talk about them. Um, where do I start? Let's talk about US regulations and what I'm getting done for that. So currently I'm testing both cotton warp and silk warp and a couple different varieties of them. The cotton warp is my classic ring spun cotton, um, unmercerized. And combined with that, I'm going to test my silk. So this is my classic cheeky bean silk, a Bombix silk. It's quite fine and it's, I don't know, there's so many reviews about it that you can look it up, but it's shiny it's moldable, it's magical and amazing. And I'm also testing this with my silk war. So this is my classic option. Uh, I think you can't go wrong with that. If you're not sure what to get, get that. It's strong enough for a toddler, it's thin enough to wrap a squish and it just wraps itself and you are gonna love it. here we have Nexus this is silk warp and a silk weft and it makes an, a lightweight to medium weight wrap it's really really moldable easy to tighten it's easy to tie I don't find it super slippy it is glidey though so you can do those back passes really easily so that is silk I do have a new one it's Tassa Silk, and this is also, I mean, it would make 100% silk warp, but you can see it's got a little bit more fuzz to it, a little bit more nubs and slubs, and will add a little bit more texture to your wrap. So if you're looking for the silk wrapping qualities, but want a little bit more grip, Tassa is a great option. Also for testing, I will be testing my Merino Silk. So this is the option with glitter. You can see it's so pretty. The glitter is subtle that you can't ever hardly catch it on camera, but it is eye candy in person. It's super squishy. It also makes a light to medium weight wrap. Also very moldable but it just adds more squish and cush than some of the other fibers do. Also for testing, I will be having this rose silk. Rose silk, I love it's, oh, no, that's this one. They're both really similar. <laughs> this is the rose silk. This is silk nettle rami, rami nettle, rami nettle. So rose silk is 50% is silk, 50% rose fiber, and it is fuzzy a little bit, and I love it. It adds texture, it makes it a little bit more toddler worthy, and I would say a more medium weight wrap. My piece of hope is with it, and I love it. See, it's, it's got a little bit more thickness to it, and it, it wraps to me like silk wraps, like self-wrapping, self you barely have to do anything, but it's thicker. So if you are worried about toddler worthy or cushiness on your shoulders or something, that's an amazing option. And it smells so good too. You can't always smell it, but when it gets like a little bit wet or something, then it just smells like roses, which is pretty magical. So, that's that. The Rami nettle is similar. This is, that's this one, <laughs> sorry. 70% silk, 30% Rami nettle, and very toddler worthy as well, and also squish moldable. So, you can't really go wrong with either of these. The Rami nettle dyes a little bit deeper. Rose silk is a little, finicky for dyeing, much more light to medium 
tones for dyeing. So if you're looking for deep and saturated, these might not be the best option. If color is more important to you, then going with the Tussa Silk or the 100% Silk, um, or even the Merino Silk is gonna be your better option. Next we have Rose. Let's talk about Rose. Rose, nope. I'm all over the map right now. This is pineapple. Here's my Rose. So Rose, pineapple even, Sea cell, those are plant-based fibers. And they're kind of similar. I find rose and sea cell to have quite a bit of stretch to them. So if you're looking for um, like a lot of bounce and recoil and stretch, then those are awesome. Uh, they pair really, really well with the cotton warp for a moldable and even cushy, I would say, wrap. Uh, more of a medium weight, like they're a little bit thicker thread. So if you're pairing with cotton, it will be more of a medium weight, which is nice. Pineapple Bast is 50% pineapple and 50% cotton. I haven't used it yet, but other weavers that have used it give it rave reviews. And to me, it feels like cotton heaven. Yeah, I'm excited to try this one. I think that it will add some awesome texture and some good grip. So if you're pairing it with silk, that it would give it more of like a, I don't even know how to describe, like an earthy type feel, which is nice. Here's Silk Sea Cell. It's a little squishier, a little, a little bit stretchier than my silk. This one's got 30% sea cell in it. They're almost the same weight. The sea cell silk is a little bit thicker, but what's it got to it? It's got a little bit more fuzz and yeah, just a little bit more squish. squish. So we pair this all the time with cotton warp and silk warp and it's fantastic. Here's a cotton. This is the cotton of all cottons. This is Sea Island cotton. This is the thicker option. I do have a thin one as well. And it's a little bit more, like it's got a darker natty to it, which will affect the dyeing slightly. And as far as cotton goes, it's so soft. So like hardly any breaking in. It's got a price tag similar to silk. So it is a little bit higher, but this is like, if you want the king or queen of cottons, this is it. It's so good. Marine silk is a new one for me, but I know it's pretty popular. It's part merino, silk, and sea cell. And it's got the shine very similar to sea cell does. A similar look. It's got some merino in it though, so after dyeing, it has more fuzz and cush to it, which is really awesome. I have a thick version as well. And so if you want, if you're looking for a more thick medium weight wrap, then go for the thick option. It's going to be super cushy and um, yeah, I wrapped with it the other day and it makes your baby pretty much weightless, which is nice for those heavier toddlers. Uh, let's talk about alpaca. I love alpaca. This is, and this is, this is the glitter option. And hopefully you can see the little fibers that come out of alpaca. They're so special to me and they show up on the wrap and you just see these little fibers and um, it's squishy, it's so soft, like softer than merino is. And I can't say enough good stuff about this. My black tie, which is what I've got here, is with it and it's just, this is a shawl piece. And I love it. I wear it almost every day. Like it's just drapey and glidey and cushy and soft all at the same time. So I recommend that if you are looking for a wool option. 
that's it. I think I covered them all. Oh, Superwash. So Superwash, it's, um, I think all the Superwash that I carry is a Merino. The Superwash processing to me kind of takes out the wool itch that you can feel sometimes. It, it gives it almost more of a cotton feel to me. It's really soft. This one is Superwash Merino with bamboo. And it's springy and squishy. My, sorry. My piece of Blue Lala is made with it. And I fell in love. This one is actually Superwash with silk and cashmere. And it dyes up beautifully, the, the, at least the silk and cashmere one does. And it's cushy and blankety and thick. So for a shorty, totally worth it. It's so good. And I think that's all. I think I've covered most of them. If there's something else you would like to find out about, give me an ask. I know there's a couple that I think that I missed. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can chat again soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bye.